This is a demonstration on matching network done by Majla Dabai of Asma Jundi Dana Yubi. We'll be going through an example. A load DL equals 30 plus J45 is to be matched to a 50 L. Design a matching network and find the values of L and C at frequency of 100 MHz. First, we normalize the impedance by dividing it by 50, which equals 0.6 plus 0.9 J. There are eight possibilities for matching a network. Series capacitor, shunt inductor, series inductor, shunt capacitor, shunt capacitor, series inductor, shunt inductor, series capacitor, series capacitor, shunt capacitor, series inductor, shunt inductor, shunt capacitor, series capacitor, shunt inductor, and series inductor. Now on the smart chart, we are moving clockwise on the red surface, we are adding series inductor. Counterclockwise is series capacitor. On the blue surface, if we're moving clockwise, we add shunt capacitor. If we're moving counterclockwise, we're adding shunt inductor. Now we locate our point on the smart chart. Moving on the real axis to find point 0.6, and the imaginary part is point 0.9. We call this the output. We walk along the red surface until we reach any of the blue surfaces. There are two ways to match the network. The first is from the upper part until we reach the center, and the other one is from the lower part until we reach the center. If we are moving on the first part, we are adding series capacitor, shunt capacitor, on the second way, we add series capacitor and shunt inductor. Now we call this point point one. Point two. and the center point three. We need to find the admittance and impedance for point two. Uh, we're going to use the second way for our example. Point two, the impedance is point six, and because it's on the lower part on the smart chart, the, the uh, imaginary will be negative. And the imaginary is negative, minus 0.48. Now, 0.2, 0.6, minus 0.48j. Uh, the admittance is 1 over d2, which is 1 plus 0.8j. For 0.3, because it's the center, uh, the, amp the impedance and the admittance, the impedance and the admittance are 1. Now, they, in the question, they give us a 100 megahertz frequency. Omega equals 2 pi 5, 2 pi f, which equals 628.31 megahertz. For series capacitor, we subtract the impedance, which equals minus 1.38j. And this would equal 1 over jwc, and c would equal c 1.15 nanofarads. For shunt inductor, we subtract the admittance, which equals 0.81J, and this will equal JWL, the L would equal 1.96 nanohenry. That's it. Thank you for watching.